Hey guys, yeah, I'm sure you'll be wondering what happened. Like, who is this? Who am I? Okay, so here today I have my sister. Yeah, yeah, looking like Beyonce plus Agbani uh -huh. Darego plus Ojai. <laughs> Why me? I'm looking like I'm looking like myself. Whatever. Uh -huh. Anyway, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that is a little bit. I don't want to explain this. Like, I'm pouring out my heart mm -hmm. because I've thought about it for a very long time. I've not really said it to anybody. Like, I've not really put it out in words, but I'm like, you know what? I'm sure somebody out there is going through the same thing that I'm going through. Yeah, there's no need just staying in my shell and thinking about this thing alone, okay? So, please, who can relate with me? If you can, even if it's one person that can relate with me, I'll be very happy. I know some of you are, are hyper religious and all of that, okay? But for me, yo. I noticed that after I started having kids, my spirituality started dwindling. Okay? Now, I don't know whether... Is it dwindling that is in English? Anyway, I just... I stopped doing some things that I used to do. Like, I stopped praying like I used to pray. I stopped going to church like I used to go to church. Well, that one has concrete reason, but... I stopped going to church like I used to go to like I used to go to church. I stopped participating in church like I used to. In fact, mm -hmm. I stopped participating in church like before. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. When I was in school, I was in one thing or the other. You know, even at home, I was yeah, I was service. I was in, I was in Austrian. I was in protocol. I was just in different things. But since I started having children, I just realized that I'm not as active in church like mm -hmm. I used to be, and I don't I don't know like can anybody relate. You can you relate? Um, I can relate a little because I noticed yeah. actually that um, period after you've just finished giving birth, it's as if you can't do any other thing. Like as yeah. if your life is just your child, child, yes. your baby. Mm -hmm. yes. So I can I can relate. Yeah. Can relate. Because even for me, even at some point, I now realize that even to pray, like how do I put it now? I should pray in a hurry. Mm. You know, before you have time to sit down and pray, meditate, read your Bible, mm. this one, that one. I used to pray in a hurry. Sometimes I used to pray in the car when I'm dropping my kids at school. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, most times it's always rush, rush, rush. Mm? Okay, it's rush in the morning. And if I say, oh, let me wake up earlier to do all these things, I'll be very tired because I slept late the night before. Or if I still had a newborn baby or a smaller baby, oh, I, I breastfed you throughout the habits. night. Yeah. You don't, you don't have no sleep, sir. You yeah, have thank no sleep. you. Exactly. So it's not when I want to wake up. When I, when I now want to sleep, you want me to now wake up and start praying, you know? Okay, I actually know that, you know, devil is to target mothers. I'm very yes. sure the devil targets the mothers. That we have. Yes, exactly. And he knows that when, once a mother has... Quetier. <laughs> once a mother has decided that, you know what, my family is going to... Fathers too, anyway. Let's not even remove fathers. Let's not make it look as if... Mm -hmm. uh, fathers are not important, but I'm just saying, at least parents, once parents decide that, you know, me and my family are going to serve God, like nothing can stop them. So I feel like it's easier to go and attack the parents than to attack the children, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm trying to get back into the, you know, get back into things. I'm trying to, you know, go back to how things used to be. But some things cannot really go back. For instance, being a... I don't even go for Wednesday services again. Do you yeah, still go? No, I don't. Uh -huh. Then you calculate mm. having to carry your children mm. and going... You just say, let me... I prefer to stream. Exactly. When you don't want to stream, there are so many activities. Thank you. Do you know that, that there's, take over? there's no Sunday that I have streamed the service from beginning to end without that interruption. Focus. Yeah, that was focused. It's not possible. possible. Not possible. Yeah. Anyway, so I want to ask you, what are the things that we can do as mothers to get back to go closer to god to participate you know to actually just like to grow to grow spiritually because i feel like I, I became stunted at some point see me that before i could quote scriptures like well well mm. now i used to quote a miss mm. like i know the general the general you remember where you saw it from. yes you know now i know the general scripture somehow but the words like ah like no it's bad mm. you know so what do you think that someone can do okay to get back so I think the first thing you should recognize is to recognize that you need help. Like, yeah. like what you've said now that you've realized that, okay, these are the areas where I'm not really doing well. So this is the first step in yeah. getting help, right? Mm -hmm. So recognize that, like, my spirituality is poor. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't even know what, where I'm, what I'm doing. So that's, yeah. like, the first step. When you recognize that you need help, then gradually... So after that, you have to ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Yeah. Because the truth is that you cannot do it on your own. Yeah, it's, it's not true. possible. You have to mm -hmm. consciously ask the Holy Spirit to help you. In so that area. In that area. Yeah. So pinpoint areas that you have, you need help with. Mm -hmm. For instance, you know that you need help with taking away distractions when you are listening to 
Mm. When you are listening to a message, so you need you have to recognize that you need help and ask Holy Spirit to help you. That okay, I want to watch this video now. I need to focus. I need to get the message. Holy Spirit, teach me what I need to learn from this particular word. Send me the word for me. Yeah. So you have to you have to be very conscious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I, another thing that helps too is that in a day you have to be conscious of so. I mean, being a mom and a parent, the act, your, your life is filled with activities. Like, mm. you can't, there's no day that is, that is calm for you. Yeah, there's you no always yeah. have days where everything is chaotic. You are mm -hmm. screaming, shouting at children, running up and down. Mm -hmm. So, because of that, it's easy for you to to forget, forget that you are first yes. a Christian. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? So, you have to consciously keep reminding yourself all through the day. And mm. how you do that is that in the early in the morning, when you wake up, even your quiet time, you have to Tell yourself that throughout the day, I want to keep my mind stayed on God. The point I is, to... I'm not get quiet. Time. <laughs> okay, well, okay. You know, okay, but you know, okay. I think I, I understand you because I have to. I can't be saying I don't have quiet time because what There's happens always to... the time when you press your phone. You're on yes. Your phone. No, no, no. What happens with me in the mornings is that whenever I wake up, they always wake me up. It's time to take okay. children to school. Do you understand? Like yes. I have to jump up. Like it's always okay. Time is going. Like if I don't stand up now, I won't be like I. Okay, I think my first. Let me stop giving excuses. I think I need to sleep earlier. Yes. And create time in the morning. Yes. Or even in the nights before I, think I sleep. You need to have a routine, self. Yeah. Yeah. I think you mm -hmm. need to, because that time is very important. I don't mm -hmm. know whether it to be in the night or it to be in the morning. Mm -hmm. Whichever is convenient for I feel you. Like whichever morning is, is morning is better to remind you. Yes. yes. So that you, sometimes night too is also good though before you sleep because mm -hmm. I've noticed that sometimes. If hey, you come never. As if I'm talking that. Okay, guys. So that's how we do that. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I don't think so. You are carrying the carrying yes. carrying. Yeah, before it now popped out. Like when you sneeze. Think it's when you are talking. Don't catch it. Exactly. Think it's when you are looking normal. Shut up. Don't dare to be like, woo. Hey, yo, chill, <laughs> man, now. chill. So why I feel night sometimes having that, even if your quiet time is not in the morning, mm -hmm. even if it's night, I still feel it's very effective because that is like the time where at, you're at your calmest. Okay, whenever That's you're the at time your calmest, you can, even when you ask Holy Spirit something, you can focus and listen to Him because that listening is very, very key. Yeah. Because sometimes we just ask, 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 mm. talk, 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 and yeah, just go. Exactly. So you need to sometimes be at peace. You need to even ask what do I do? How do I, what as in you need to mm. like a conversation. Yeah. So if night is more effective for you, I feel we should stop making look as if oh we don't have that quiet time in the morning, therefore no. Mm. If night is effective for you, take advantage of it. Spend mm. time. And I'm noticing something about night sometimes that like when your kids are sleeping and you spend that quiet time, study a scripture at least absorb something. Sometimes, even when you are sleeping, when you've slept, I don't know what happens, but you almost feel like, you still feel like that. That you presence. You usher yeah. into, yes. I get you what you Sometimes mean. you can even hear the Holy Spirit speaking to you in your dreams. In your dreams, yeah. Because you've ushered yourself into that, that kind of that stillness. That mindset, yes. and yeah. And another thing I've, I've noticed, it works, eh? It's just that sometimes, eh, the devil is just a devil. The devil is a bad devil. <laughs> <laughs> I know that if, I, if at night, if I want to sleep and I say, Holy Spirit, please wake me up by four o'clock. I All want right. to wake up and pray. In fact, four o'clock is even normal self. If I say wake me up by twelve o'clock, in fact twelve thirty, in fact twelve forty-five, I want to wake up by twelve forty-five and pray. Do you know twelve forty-five? Maybe twelve forty-three or something. I wake up. Yes, without you, alarm. Without alarm. Without yes, without anything. I just wake up. I just see myself. Even when I set alarm, so I wake up and off the alarm myself. Like I wake up and say there's no need for this alarm because I already woken up before mm. the alarm. You know. So it actually helps. Actually, so maybe I'll start doing it at night because mm -hmm. I'm I'm better at night at being quiet. Like yes. once they've gone to bed. But you are saying that you're a night person. Yeah, I'm a night person to an extent. Funny enough, I don't even know. I'm not sure. I'm still not sure which one. <laughs> I think you're a night person. Because when I wake up in the mornings as nice well, you have you. They always patrolling. Walking night. up and down. Yeah, when people actually, actually, that's actually. when you start patrolling. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you're a night person. Mm. So I think you should take advantage of that. So recognize your person that oh I'm a morning person. Wake up earlier, do your quiet time and move. Mm. If you're a night person and like you said, they wake you up when they wake up and go. Mm. So that night time, take advantage of it. Use it very well. Let yeah. it be very effective. Make sure you spend that time praying, speaking, even if it, even if it's not for long. That's yeah. the thing with the relationship. You start small. Mm. So even if you don't spend one hour praying, it might be ten minutes. Mm -hmm. But that quiet, that stillness, that quiet time, that listening 
and speaking is very key and you should take advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that makes sense. Okay, so but how else do you think that we can actually get back to God, get back to fellowshiping with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. every day? Okay. You know, just get back into being a Christian. Because okay. I'm sorry to say, someone like me, I know I'm a child of God, I know mm -hmm. I'm a Christian, I know I'm all of that, but Sometimes I feel, feel disconnected. disconnected. Yes. I feel disconnected. I feel like I'm not even hearing again from the Holy Spirit. Mm. I'm not even like, I'm, you know how, okay, before I used to have this, okay, ah, I need to pray. I need to do this. Now I don't have that feeling again. Mm. I don't have that, like, I was just going to sleep, wake up in the morning. I remember, oh, I've not prayed though. Sometimes okay. you don't even lie down to sleep. You just see yourself sleeping. Sleeping, thank you. Like, don't I, even remember when, like, when you say, oh, I want to go to bed. Most some, sometimes how I, how I sleep off is, okay, I want Sophia to sleep. Let me lie down beside her so mm. I should think I'm there. Then from there, I'll wake up. It's already 5 a.m. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Do you get it? Yeah. So, I, I need, how else do you think we can get back? Okay, so, um, like I mentioned about that quiet time. So, we, another thing you should do during your quiet time is to ask God to help you. Like, when you ask for his help, mm. ask him to help you at each time of the day to, to make sure you stay connected. Mm. Do you understand? So, yeah. like, when you are, what type of the activity you are doing? Mm. So, even if it's one second, like, for instance, you can be pressing your phone. Or you can be, or if you can you can be pressing your phone, you can mm. be feeding your breastfeeding your child, mm. or your mind like to keep your mind, mind staying on God. God yeah. Yes. So for instance, you can even be changing your child's diapers, mm. and you can be speaking to that child. Okay, like that's what I was saying. Yeah. I was mentioning you can be praying while changing, so you can mm. multitask. You can add. So another thing that helps you is adding activities to add like to, when you are creating your routine mm. to adding like spiritual activities to that to your, your routine. current routine already. Yeah. So I know that when my children were younger, Sha, I was always praying for them mm -hmm. while they were asleep, while I'm breastfeeding them. Mm -hmm. I used to pray for them. I used to pray generally, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. yeah. So even while you're washing but clothes, But now that they have strong hair, like, I don't oh, yeah. pray <laughs> <laughs> No, you put someone's head and you're just relaxed. What's up with you? But mommy, mommy, I'm like, just relax. Just calm down. <laughs> so yeah, add all those activities. Like even mm. when you're like, if you're doing a task that doesn't require you to be hundred percent devoted to it, you mm. can add a spiritual activity to it. Mm. Like if you're washing your clothes, does is listening to music the same? That's one I I managed to do, Sha. It helps. To, to, it's very important. So look for when you're listening to songs, to music especially, look for music that gets that not just music that are Christian like or sound Christian, mm. right? No, no, I don't I, yeah. I, I always sip songs. You have to sip what you're listening yeah. to. So pick songs that will minister to you. Yeah. You know, some songs that are sending words to you, that are sending message that that are bringing a word yeah. to you for that time. Sometimes you have noticed that sometimes you can listen to a song that you've been listening for a thousand times. And you not hear something in that song and you're like, mm. okay. It's true, yeah. You understand? So have songs that are packed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like some of the gospel artists I like listening to, like like my three favorite artists, like number one, Sinatch. Mm. So her songs are, uh, are messages. Are messages. So yes, it's not just songs like not just that. Feel yeah. good songs. It's not just yeah. songs that the voice is so loud. So, so nice, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Feel, oh. mm. <laughs> just listen to songs like Sinatch, like even um, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Yeah, I was about to call like, him. Like. Um, um, I don't know Dunsi. Are you serious? Tell me one song, person that sang. What of Messi Chinwo? Messi Chinwo. Um, then this guy that sang. What of Ada? Ada too. Mm -hmm. Then there's this pastor that sang. Don't know his. Um, you made a way. When the back when okay. the um, He has a lot of songs. Yes, that are, that are good. Yeah. So don't look for songs that will make you feel oh, or that your ears will start giving Travis you goosebumps. Yes. Yeah, or something, uh, yeah. Don't look for songs that will give you goosebumps. Mm. Select songs. So you can even have a separate playlist. You have your goosebumps songs for mm. sleeping, for calming you down. But have a playlist that is selected for sending messages to, to you, you. Yeah. sending a word to you. As mm. I listen to them over and over, sometimes you may not have heard the first time that you hear that you're like, mm. how did I not hear this? Yeah. Yeah. Another thing is, uh, okay, what do you think about social media? Do you think that social media has actually impacted as in destroyed, basically, not impacted in a good way, like impacted on how connected we are to God and things on, on spiritual things. Do you think on social media and pressing on phone, we uh, should scatter it small? <laughs> I feel, well, no. Look at this cutie. Yeah, come and stay with me. Let your mommy talk. Hmm? Let your mommy talk. Hi. You see what we're talking about? We're talking about spirituality. This one has come. Has come. <laughs> it depends on how you look at it. Mm. Like, we're talking about algorithm now. Yeah. So, if you keep listening to or keep looking at a certain like a image, certain page or image page or you message. keep getting more of, more of it yeah so you can you can you can filter your social media to help you 
to help your mind, to yeah. help to streamline your as what you see. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So. Social media, it depends on what you have on your social media. That so basically, it's, it's up to you. You can't, to you can't blame yes. social media. It's up to you. Exactly. You. Filter what you do. On your usage. Yeah, on your usage. Yeah, on your your usage. usage. Of how you use your social media. Actually, actually. And you know the funny thing? There are so many Christians on social media that are putting out Christian yes. content. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, even now, like yes. even TikTok and Reels, there are so many things about Jesus, about... Yes, or like exactly. before that, you hardly see Christians, you know, talking about mm -hmm, such things. Mm -hmm. Man, there are so many Christians. And the more you watch them, yeah. the more you keep getting Because I noticed it's happening to me. Because recently, I've been consciously trying mm -hmm. to follow people like that. I said, since so many Christian rules, go ahead and follow one, I'll see another one, follow one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, what of your spouses? How can your spouse help you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a very good yeah. question. Mm -hmm. So, um, and again, why this question is very important is that your your spouse helping you goes a longer way than when you're doing it on your, on your own. own exactly because okay for instance my own now now i started going to church every sunday that's because my husband now helps mm -hmm. you know he'll wake up in the morning and say yeah everybody let's get ready and go to church in church he helps me to carry the baby sometimes because before, when I go to church, I don't need to hear anything. Like, there's no point. Yeah, I know, I know. You can't yourself and go to church. You're either breastfeeding or... or uh, no, don't go. And you know you start the back now. Then I'm saying, come back. I say on Sunday, although Sophia will soon go to church and church, I'm tired. On Sunday, I was dragging her back. She would go here, drag her back. She would go, you know. So at the end of the day, you're not even hearing what pastor yes. is preaching. So that's when I said preferring staying at home okay. to listen. Yeah. When I start home to listen, I get distracted. Distract I forget about the... I thought I'll be listening to me. The next thing I'll know, I'm changing diaper before you know what's happening. I'm downstairs cooking before, before you know what's happening. Has ended. Has ended. In fact, they, they would have come back home because my husband and the kids used to go to church there. They would have come back home before I remember that. Oh, I was actually following. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. That, okay, okay mm. so for your spouse helping you, if you, like the way you've, you mentioned how you mm. feel disconnected mm. and how motherhood has changed. So if you have a very supportive spouse, if you like pour out your heart to, the, to him too as well and explain yeah. that, see, I need help, what do we do? Mm. So one thing that can help a lot, like your spouse can help with is creating a routine. Okay. So the truth people say, no, routines are no good, they, they, they have to be... Um, you have to wing it. Wing it. No, I'm wing it. Is not good, if you wing it, <laughs> I've winged it now and I've Satan seen the results. Satan will help you. Uh, uh, um, in fact, help you wing it and <laughs> wing it away from Help <laughs> you fly away. <laughs> so, you need that discipline. So, mm -hmm. why your spouse comes in now is to help you with discipline, mm -hmm. to help you with that routine, creating. Mm -hmm. So, yes, routines can be boring and all that, mm -hmm. right? But sometimes they help you to keep still on track. Yeah. Like, Even the consciousness, generally, if you have a spouse that's always praying, reading the Bible, Thank talking you. about spiritual Thank things you. playing christian music mm -hmm. and stuff like that you see yourself mm -hmm. being in that frame yes. of mind not when you finish listening to messaging with him is playing uh, <laughs> what's all those people's uh, i don't know i've got their names yeah it's be clashing inside mm -hmm. the same house mm -hmm. yeah so your spouse mm -hmm. can actually help you to stay disciplined yeah especially when you have a spouse and you're on the yeah. same page with you yeah exactly. that's another thing that's another thing uh, that, yeah that's it now if not <laughs> that's another thing if you're a spiritual person your spouse doesn't care it's going, <laughs> yeah. to, be, it's going to be a struggle yeah so that's exactly. why it's good to have someone that if two of you are on the same page yeah. Can help you as well to stay on track. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. Another thing that has also helped a lot is, I think I heard this long ago, and I think it works, is creating a spiritual atmosphere in your home. Mm. You understand? You don't need to be actively oh, reading the Bible, devotion, and mm. but when you like, in, like play music, create mm. a. Cre Play like good Christian so, music yeah. helps to create that spiritual. So I don't know what what, what how it works, mm. but it helps with that. Yes, it's true. You atmosphere. know how on Sundays, some people only on Sundays they used to play Christian music mm -hmm. in their houses. Yeah, but everybody it sort of changes the mood exactly. of the house. Exactly. So the atmosphere of your home should have that. So create that ambience mm. with music, whether from your laptop or your TV or yeah. just to create it and continue what you're doing. Doing right. So it goes a long way. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sure I've, I'm sure you guys have learned it you know, to me. I've actually learned some things here, especially like creating that routine and saying I'm gonna stick with it mm -hmm. no matter what. Okay, yeah. Anyway, I really enjoyed this talk. Me too. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on my yeah. channel, and just thank you so much for bringing this visitor, <laughs> this beautiful girl to come and stay with us. Hi. You're looking at your mommy. Hi. Hi. Chaka chaka. <laughs> yeah all right guys we'll see you in our next video or in my next video bye guys bye